I rami di un albero. Branches of a tree, snow crystals, clouds at sunset. But the charm of a cloud at sunset, where does it come from and why? Non si può dare. It's impossible to give an answer, but certainly there is something in nature that we perceive unconsciously as we can be fascinated by the harmony of music even without knowing the notes. Maybe there is harmony in the rules that nature uses to make the clouds at the sunset. Like the rules that painters use, learning or inventing new ones to make their pictures. Perceiving and knowing the rules of nature is essential for all animals to decide on their actions. But human beings need much more. They want to discover and understand. E capire. L'uomo, man invented science, which is a passionate search to understand these rules. Until not long ago, science has never considered the problem of a cloud at the sunset or the outline of a mountain. Why? Why is geometry often described as cold and dry? One reason lies in its inability to describe the shape of a cloud, a mountain, a coastline, or a tree. Clouds are not spheres. Mountains are not cones. Coastlines are not circles and the bark is not smooth, nor does lightning travel in a straight line. Developing this idea, Benoit Mandelbrot published a book entitled The Fractal Objects in 1975, and some year later, The Fractal Geometry of Nature. Since then, fractals turned out to be an important tool for science, closely involved in the study of complex systems, such as meteorological forecasting models. Il concetto di frattale... Fractals are found indeed in a large number of natural and mathematical objects. But it is hard to give the concept of a fractal a precise definition. The name derives from the Latin fractus, which means broken. The shape of a fractal is characterized by a pattern which repeats itself in ever smaller sizes, so that the detail is similar to the whole. So the main features appear the same if one looks at the fractal with a magnifying glass. It's called self-similarity when something remains similar to itself while looking at smaller and smaller details. There are both mathematical fractals and natural fractals. One can find natural fractals in the branches of trees as well as in the arteries of our body. We can find them in the shape of marine coasts, in hurricanes and in many different phenomena. And there are fractals hidden inside the bones of each of these people and in the signs that life has left on their faces. But self-similarity in nature cannot go beyond a certain limit. 
the branch of a tree cannot fall below the size of its buds. On the contrary, a mathematical fractal is a never-ending pattern which proceeds towards even smaller features. It is created by repeating a simple process over and over again. You can only generate these fractals with computers, getting smaller and smaller details. But the true infinite pattern of the fractal remains unpredictable. With a computer, you can't catch the infinite. But what is the meaning of predictable and unpredictable? What are the order and the chaos that appear so intimately mixed in this Mandelbrot fractal or in the complicated branching of a tree? We call order what we can foresee because uh, it develops according to a precise rule, which we can conceive and express. Otherwise, it is disorder, it is chaos. The particular unpredictability of mathematical fractals and other complex mathematical systems is called deterministic chaos, just to distinguish it from that kind of disorder generated by chance, which is completely unpredictable. But might chance be only the result of our inability to understand the extremely complicated rules of our world? Perhaps the evolution of the universe and of ourselves be predetermined from the outset as a mathematical fractal, unpredictable only because it is too complex? Or does something exist in the physical world independent of rules being decided by the mysterious entity we call chance? And where does the freedom human beings have to decide on actions come from? Questions of this kind date back to ancient Greek culture, but were considered by modern science only in the 20th century, with the advent of quantum mechanics, the physics of atoms, and the entire microcosm. But up to now, we do not have clear answers. Yet the problem is of fundamental importance. Science has discovered that the running of order towards disorder is the basis of evolution of all natural phenomena. The mysterious play between chance and necessity is the driving force of the world and of our life. The degrade of energy that the Earth receives hot and order from the sun and sends colder and less order to the frozen infinite of cosmos. Is it then the heat and the order that we absorb from the sun that make our lives possible and allows us also to understand beauty? Perhaps it will be just the beauty that gives new life to science. By means of this new geometry of nature, the fractals, helping us to disentangle that mysterious but wonderful skin that is our real world. But will even mathematics then be beautiful? Mm. 
really beautiful, as claimed by this mathematician.